Quick shop update. I've been really busy. Kind of. Sort of. All the time. I've been filming a lot, but none of it was really, I don't think, good enough for a video. So I got a lot of this mesquite burl I cut up a couple weeks ago. I've been soaking it in cactus juice. Really don't need to because it's pretty solid. But the outside was kind of soft and I, for whatever reason I felt like keeping it. So I've been soaking that and I've been working on this pressure pot here. Uh, it's got a lot of leaks. This thing, the can't find the data plate on it right now. It's down there. This thing's dated is 1945, I think. Let me see if I can uncover that without getting cancer. Um, and now my hand's covered in what is no doubt lead paint. Okay. Somewhere on there it says 1945. Ah, down there. Year built, 1945. So, needless to say, there's a lot of leaks on there. Most of the uh, joints, fittings, what have you, are all dried out. So I dug into the pressure regulator a little bit more today because that was leaking. And the first time I opened it up, I couldn't figure out where it was leaking from. I dug into it a little deeper today, and I figured out there's an old dried-out paper gasket in there. So I replaced that with, I don't have any left. I put it away. The uh, liquid gasket, as I did a couple of the other fittings, this giant nut on top was still leaking, so I, repl I originally I chased top and bottom with hot glue, and it was still leaking. So last night I put West System Epoxy over the top of it, and it was still leaking. So now I got West System Epoxy on the bottom of it. Hopefully that should completely seal it. I got a little bit of air bubbles coming up right here. There was another hole here. I did a really crappy job welding it. I put a uh, plug there and I welded it and I ground it and I welded it and I ground it and I welded it and I was still, there's still just a pinhole that was leaking after welding it top and bottom. So I coated the top of that with West System Epoxy last night and this morning it wasn't leaking. This has a giant cap on it. I filled the inside with the liquid gasket and for whatever reason, it's still, it was still leaking last night. I don't think it was leaking this morning when I pressure checked it, but I went ahead and backfilled that hole full of epoxy as well. So that should completely eliminate all the leaks, I'm hoping. The only other thing that was leaking was the drain valve and that was just full of mud somehow. So I pulled that out, cleaned it, refilled it, and hopefully there's no more, no more leaks out of there. But I was messing around with the, the vacuum chamber. I just taking, um, I had these, I had two of these. So I just filled it full of all kinds of tiny little bits of scrap wood. And this has the blood red, the blood red metallic flake in there. And I put it in the vacuum pot. And as you can see, there's still a lot of air bubbles in there. So I really don't know what, what I need to do differently. It's kind of unfortunate. So that was the first one I did. And it's actually, there's three pours. So one pour was with blood red. I think the second pour might have had blood red. And then the third pour was clear. But the water, the air bubbles that were on the surface of the second pour now stuck in the third pour. This one was just one solid pour with the white metallic. And still has a lot of air bubbles in there despite being in the vacuum chamber. One of the, yeah, this one here, I think I had to cut the container off because it wouldn't let go. So you see the knife marks on the surface, but hopefully those will turn out with no problem. It's a lot more of the mesquite that I've stabilized over here. I didn't do a better job of uh, letting that drip dry. So that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Like that one there, I think I, it drip dry really good and I sanded it so you really can't even see the cactus juice on the surface like that. I got a couple in the oven right now. I let those drip dry overnight before I did anything with them. And then I'm going to try and make either a vacuum chamber or a pressure pot. Oop, wrong way. Vacuum chamber or pressure pot or both with this guy. Got a new chainsaw. This is a long guy here. Echo PPT 280. Fully extended is uh, 158 inches. I just put a new bar and chain on it yesterday because the one it came with was bent and also 12 inches, so now it's 10 inches. I thought it was 12 when I bought it. Or, uh, excuse me, I thought it was 10 when I bought it. So I got this guy, Craigslist. I think it's like 550, 650 brand new. The um, 
choke assembly was broken off, so the guy sold it to me. I think I paid two thirty. Yeah, I did pay two thirty for it. I forgot. He, I think he was asking two fifty. So I picked this guy up for two thirty, and ultimately, at the end of the day, it really just needed thirty dollars worth of parts. And then I went ahead and replaced the uh, bar and chain while I was at it. So fired it up yesterday. Did a couple test cuts, and pretty pleased with the way it came out. And then I grabbed some of this uh, Ocotillo here. I'm not sure how wet it is or how to dry it, but I grabbed some of that and some fresh mesquite logs the other day. So I got to mill those down. But unfortunately, my two inch, excuse me, my one inch bandsaw blade snapped on me the other day when I was milling that piece of mesquite that was in the shot earlier. So. Don't think I'm doing any woodworking today, just a whole lot of cleaning because this place is out of control. That's a quick update. I know only 20 people are gonna watch it like usual. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more interesting content that comes in the future. And like I said, I'm most likely going to give away one of these uh, chainsaw mill devices once I hit a thousand subscribers. Not this one, because this one's used and dirty. But I'll give away a brand new one. One of my most popular videos ever. Thanks for watching. See you next time.